Namaste friends. Uh, today we will try to understand the topic uh, of asanas and its uh, evolution over a period of time in history. Asana basically comes from the root word in Sanskrit asa means to be or asa is to sit. Now if we see classically in the old history of yoga, asana was primarily meant something like to sit in a steady position. If you look at the different uh, later Vedas uh, and also if we look at um, scriptures like Bhagavad Gita, especially chapter number 6, chapter number 11, we see that the word asana is used in the context of sitting down, sitting down quietly to meditate, to study, to contemplate. Uh, in the context of Hatha Yoga, which was a later development in the history, asana was used in the context of doing something rather than being something. So I feel what is important for us in today's day and age, if we are going to use yoga as a, as a, as a tool of self-transformation, uh, we have to understand that asana has essentially two parts, is to do and then to be. So in our context of day-to-day -day life, if we want to make practical the whole science of yoga and the science of asanas, we need to understand that asana should be something that we do to be something, some action or some kriya as they say that we do to be who we are or methods of moving the body to clean the mind to finally realize the divinity that we basically are within ourselves. So in this context, asana would not just be uh, physical gymnastics, but rather would have a very detailed and deep meaning in our lives. And it would be great if uh, this broad and deep meaning of asanas is looked into by the yoga enthusiasts across the world. Thank you.